we doubled like um something like a, a bell type yeah, let's like see what a that high sound. Well, I am originally from Stevens Point, um, so, uh, but in, in kind of a strange way, going to school in Stevens Point wasn't really on my radar um, because I wanted to go to school uh, to be an engineer. I got accepted to a number of different schools for engineering, and at the very last minute, like uh, the summer before my freshman year in college, I backed out um, and luckily was able to gain uh, late admission to Stevens Point and um, you know thanks to a lot of people in the music department they they made exceptions so that I could start my freshman year at Stevens Point and still then it was it was sort of a, a plan um, sort of a plan B in that I was gonna maybe take math and physics classes while I was there for the first couple of years and then maybe transfer to one of these engineering schools. And for some reason I was just ignoring this idea in my head that I could actually pursue music um, as a career. It was very evident from the beginning that he was very passionate and very uh, interested in music composition and finding ways to reach people and to touch them through his music. And so it was just, from that point forward, it was just an honor to be able to work with him. As a co-worker or a fr friend even, and uh, I think the same word describes Danny in both instances, and that would be loyal. And what I've seen of Danny over the last uh, six years is that he's no, he has no shortage of the perseverance gene. Uh, Danny is, is just one of those people where he just keeps flowing in and out of people's lives and um, doing fantastic things in a very humble and quiet way. One of the, the things I remember about Dan is that when he was a student at UW-Stevens Point, uh, that he um, had the opportunity to write a wind band piece, which is a huge project for an undergraduate composer. In fact, it's a, a, the kind of project that people typically do for a master's thesis or for a doctoral dissertation. And um, Dan came by one day and goes, can I get, you know, some time with you to, for you to listen to this? And I said, oh, Dan, today is a crazy day. I tell you what, come to our house tonight. Uh, we've, I've got about 20 minutes while I'm eating dinner with my family between 5.40 and 6 o'clock tonight. You know where we live. You've been there before. So just come on out and you can play it on the piano while we're eating dinner. <laughs> I just remember that he was playing on the, on the keyboard there um, in our house. And we all just kind of stopped eating and turned around and, you know, I, I gave him a couple of comments and things like that, but the real nourishment that night was hearing him play that piece. It wasn't the dinner we had. But the way that project turned out, he got that piece, it won a national award, it got played in Carnegie Hall by the National uh, Collegiate uh, Wind Ensemble and performed by the, the biggest name in wind band conducting of the last half century. I was able to go to Carnegie Hall. Um, shortly outside of college and they played, um, the National Wind Ensemble played one of my pieces there and that was probably the most special um, concerts of my career. But certainly um, Danny is a trailblazer in many many ways. He's um, in an environment now working in where he's doing his own thing and being very successful at it and letting and taking us all along for the ride. I would just say Dan congratulations it's well deserved well earned and uh, we are all so proud of you and, and know that you'll continue to do great things in the future. Being given the Trailblazer Award is uh, a big honor for me. I know they don't give out uh, a lot of them so knowing that I was selected means it just means a lot. Um, also, it means a lot knowing that people in uh, the Stevens Point community and the, the university there um, are still kind of keeping tabs on me and, and recognizing what I'm working to do even though I'm not there anymore. Uh, it means a lot. It makes me feel really connected to the, the place that I called home for many, many years.
the distant core.